Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome again to, uh, uh, I get so tickled at people, I didn't mean to say this, but I get tickled at people, we run into people all through town that, that watch us and they say, we love watching that power hour, <laughs> so exactly. welcome to power hour. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep it an hour. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited again uh, for a, yes. another opportunity. Amen. I tell you, we never take a, not one single opportunity for granted that right. the Lord gives us. Uh, to be able to share about his goodness, to share about his power, his yes. faithfulness, yes. everything. Amen. We're so we're so grateful for that. Amen. We're missing Miss Lisa tonight. Lisa, we love you. We know Amen. You're, Lisa. <laughs> You're listening. We miss you. We're praying for you. Yes. I just wanted to share this couple scriptures, if I could, to start us off. This is in Psalms 103, and it says, Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, yes. <laughs> and all oh, that is within yes. me, bless Thank his you. holy name. Yes. Bless the Thank Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his yes. benefits. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. One scripture says that he daily loads oh, us with benefits. Uh -huh. Oh, glory. Amen. Who forgives all of our iniquities, Amen. and who heals all all thy diseases yes, mm. God, who God, redeems God. our life from destruction yes, yes. <laughs> and who crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies Woo. and it says who satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagle Amen. Every single Amen. person that's that's been messaging me here lately, that's these requests, and I've heard praise reports too. But this scripture deals with everything that we're going through. Some of you are weary and tired. It says that He's going to renew your youth like an eagle. Amen. 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 Some people are battling sickness, battling COVID. It says, "Who forgives all our iniquity and who heals all of our diseases?" My goodness. Uh, uh, it says, "Don't." Don't you forget about his benefits. His benefits are love, joy, <laughs> peace, patience, <laughs> kindness, Hallelujah. power, healing, everything. It was so many benefits that God has given us. He's so good. Yes. So we might as well praise him for it. <laughs> Do what it says, bless the Lord, yes. all our soul, and all that's within us. So you sing with us. You worship with yes. us. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Sing along with us tonight. Amen.
about things, but if we're not, if we're not recognizing and, and tapping into the power that there is in the name of Jesus, yes, we're just wasting our breath because that power comes through the name of Jesus. Yes, it's through the name of Jesus that deliverance comes to people. It's through yes. the name of Jesus that healing comes to people. It's through the name of Jesus that revelation comes yes, to people. Amen. We need to always remember that we need to embrace and we need to cherish the name of Jesus. Amen. We need to speak yes. forth Lord, the name Lord, of Jesus. Let's lift up his name to yes. Jesus, repent of our sins and be saved 
and walk according to the precepts that are in the Word. And when you when you turn your life over to the Lord, and you have Him living inside of you, then you have every right to call upon the name of the Lord at any time for any reason, and He will hear your cry. And I'm so thankful for that tonight that we don't have to go through another man. We don't have to give an offering to somebody for them to pray for us. We can go personally to the throne of God to to find answers that He has for us. And He does have every answer. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to add that the Word teaches us that Jesus is our mediator, right? So it's so exciting to know that Jesus is there at the throne of God and he's speaking on our behalf. Yes, he is. is. So if you need Jesus to speak for you tonight, yes. cry out to him because he's there at the throne of God just mediating. He's speaking right. on our behalf. Yes, he is. He, he's, he's, he's there for us yes, to speak is. for us and to, 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 to intercede for us. Right. I mean, that's amazing that the Son of God the one that created this universe right. would, would stand up for me, that he would intercede for me Amen. and stand for me. Amen. I'm thankful for Jesus Christ and I yes. praise you. Amen. Amen. Lord, I praise you. I praise you. Oh, I praise you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Glory to God. I praise you now, Lord, for the miracle that's on the way. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God.
Praise you, yes, Jesus. Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you know, you, it says that he's seeking those that would worship yes, him. Sir. He's actively yes. looking for people, a people, mm -hmm. his people, yes. that would just worship him. No matter what it looks like. <laughs> don't care if you cry. Don't care if your mascara runs. <laughs> Just simply worship Him worship. with everything that you have spirit and everything that you truth. are. Yes. And spirit yes. and yes. truth. He's looking for that. Yes, he is. Glory. Well, well amen, amen, I'm excited amen. about the word that Dana's going to bring with us. So. We're going to bring all of yes. us. <laughs> Come Lord, with I us. praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. Lord, I do praise your name. Praise your name. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I do praise you, my God. I do praise you, my God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Today I'm so refreshed. Yes. that time of worship. I tell you, sometimes. Oh, my goodness. You just, that's what you need. You just need that time yes. of worship. To yes. Help Re renew you and mm. generalize you or whatever that word is I'm talking about. <laughs> generalize you. I make, I'm funny. I make up new words here and there. My family laughs at me. Sometimes I'm saying things that I, it's just like a brand new word. I just made it up. So anyway, um, <laughs> I was going to share a little bit tonight and, and I want April and Rhonda to chime in. But we had uh, last week I shared... Um, we all shared a testimony. I shared about a fleece that my husband and I had put up and, and, uh, and we're, we're working on, on putting up another one. And uh, I had some questions on that, which is exciting, you know, because, you know, we yes. sometimes we assume that people know, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. what we're talking about. And sometimes they don't or sometimes they need further clarification. So I had some I was approached about this um, idea about the fleece, and I and someone else uh, put a, a comment on there. It might have been others that were unsure. So, I want to share more about the fleece tonight. But before I do that, I felt checked that I need to do something else, and that is the reason people would put a fleece up is for a confirmation from the Lord right. about about something specific yes, that they need direction. confirmation yeah. about, a direction or guidance yeah. that they need something specific that they need to hear from God. But I wanted to make sure that, that I clarify, though, yeah, that yeah. the fleece is not, and, and I'm going to explain the fleece a little more, but the fleece is not something that we, we just are going to be doing all the time every right, day right. because there's different ways that we hear from God. Exactly. And I wanted to go through the different ways that we hear Jesus. from God tonight. And there may be more that you know of that you might want to pop in a comment about another way uh, that you hear from God. But I wanted to clarify those things first, and then we're going to get to the fleece at the end. But And I want Rhonda and April to help me out here. But I felt checked that I needed to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. So so you're out there right now, and you're listening, and you're listening to us, and you're saying, well, yeah, I want to hear from God. Mm -hmm. I want to hear from God. I want to hear what thus saith the Lord. Yes. I want to hear what God is mm -hmm. speaking into my life. Right. Well, I'm going to tell you the first and foremost way you're going to hear from yeah. God is this book right here, right. the Word of God. That's what the Word of God is here for. It's, it's to speak into my life, speak into your life. Exactly. And so we cannot neglect that. And I felt checked about that because I wanted to make sure that I made that very clear. Um, I wouldn't want people running around looking for to hear from God in all these other ways mm -hmm. um, and neglecting the primary way that the Lord speaks to us exactly. is through his word. And, and in Psalms 119, 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and what? A light unto my path. Mm -hmm. That This word is our guide. Mm -hmm. Yes, It's what we need to depend on. Absolutely. And I didn't want to neglect that because it's not like a fortune cookie world. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like where you're just kind of throwing all kinds of things out there to hear from God. And, and God's and not a genie either. And he's like a, a genie in a box yeah. and you're going to rub the box, rub mm -hmm. the lamp and, mm -hmm. you know, get an answer from God. We want to make sure that it's real clear mm -hmm. that this is our primary yes. way to Amen. hear from God. Yes. In 2 Timothy 3 and 16, it says, All Scripture... Right. Is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for what? Doctrine? Mm -hmm. For proof? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
For correction yes. and what? For instruction yes, right. in righteousness. So if you need to hear from God before anything else, before you start, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about some other ways you hear from God. Mm -hmm. But primary, before you do, before you wait to hear from God from any of these other ways, make sure you're in the Word of God. Amen. It's so important. So important. I, I want to share this one scripture if I could. Sure. It's in John uh, chapter one, verse one. It says, "In the beginning was the Word." Mm -hmm. That's so powerful. Yes. In the beginning of all time mm -hmm. was the Word. Word. Right. And the Word was with God. Right. And the Word was God. Amen. <laughs> yes. The Word was God. Right. So if you, this is God's voice. Yes. Right. Yes. It's his this voice. is yes. God. Right. You can't separate them. This mm -hmm. is God. His yes. Word is God. This is it. So everything, in everything that we're going to talk about mm -hmm. hearing from the Lord in different ways, mm -hmm. everything has to line up with this. Yes, if, right. if you hear a voice or if you hear something uh, that doesn't <laughs> it doesn't line up with this, you, you're listening to the wrong voice. It has yes. to line up with the yes. Word of God every time. Right. And I, I think we honestly live in a day and age, and mm -hmm. that's why we have to clarify this. Yes. We live in a day and age where people want to, to get a word. Yeah. And they'll go to all different means to get that word. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they might go from meeting to meeting to meeting, yeah. having waiting for somebody to just slap their hand on their mm -hmm. head and say, you know, thus saith the Lord. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that if there's a true prophetic word or somebody, God gives somebody a word over your life. But but we got to be careful. Like Amen. April said, we got to be very careful. We could be, people could be surfing the channels mm -hmm. to, to find a TV preacher or, mm -hmm. Yeah, teacher or somebody that'll 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 give them that word they need. We gotta be very careful. Yes. I've heard stories of 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 people listening to, uh, you know, somebody giving them a word or giving them a word, and it was telling them to leave their spouse and go to another yeah, one. That kind wrong. of stuff yeah. is wrong. It has to line up exactly. with the word of God. He will not ever contradict his written word. Exactly. Right. So there. This is our guide. This is our. This is our, our foundation yes. right here, the yeah. Word of God. Yes. So everything else that I'm going to say after this is all, this is the foundation, mm -hmm. the Word of God. Amen. So I, that being said, yes. I encourage you all to really get in the Word Amen. this year. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to, all of us, I know, including myself, we need to make it a point to be in this Word. Amen. Yeah, I mean, there are so many ways that we can get in the Word and and. Try to be creative. Mm -hmm. If you have to be creative, be mm -hmm. creative. Yeah. And find ways that you can get in the Word throughout yes. the day. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if you can't, can't necessarily pull out the Bible, there's ways you can do it. You can pull up your phone mm -hmm. while you're sitting waiting exactly. on an appointment and, mm -hmm. and scroll through and read the Word there. You can you can play the Word. There's ways you can play the Word yes. out live on the TV. Now, my husband, he plays it on the TV and he sits there in his easy chair and the words coming he, he actually wrote a program to do it and the words are coming <laughs> up and and reading out to him the word on his tv wow. so Lord. i mean there's so many creative ways that you can get the word on your radio as you're driving around mm -hmm. yeah. i mean there's so many ways that really shame on us yeah honestly shame on me if i'm not getting enough of the word in my life there's really not an excuse for me, and there's not an excuse, unfortunately, for any of us to not be in the Word. So I encourage you to get in the Word. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. No, I'm not trying to so much. Uh, even just just as of lately, I've had several uh, young women, uh, and not so young women, that, mm -hmm. that uh, were asking me about, you know, where do we, like, what they wanted to get in the Word, and they right. said, well, where, where do we start? start? Yeah. It can be overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And this, this is just the most practical thing. And, you know, everybody has different ways that they learn and, uh, and uh, obtain, retain mm -hmm. information, I mm -hmm. guess. Right. But, I, you know, for me, sometimes I, you know, there's all those things, you know, read the Bible through in a year. And it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I'm not knocking it at all. But I, I just want to say that one thing that I found and I'm learning is... Sometimes if you just try to read through it, just I'm not I'm not retaining exactly. anything. Yeah, it's exactly good I'm right. reading, but sometimes if I focus on like even one chapter mm -hmm. or even one verse yes. for a week, yes. and I've I've meditated about that. Yes. There's so many nuggets and so many things that you can pull from one right. verse. Exactly. So I would exactly. I would 
would just, especially if you're just starting out, and even if you're if you've been in this thing a long time, and you just skim through it and just read it, and not really got mm -hmm. the gold from it, and that's the way for me. That's how it says hide that word in my heart. That that's the way though that scripture comes alive mm -hmm. to me yeah. when mm -hmm. I ponder on it and I meditate it when I take it in and dissect it. Yes, like, that's mm -hmm. it. So maybe yeah. that'll help you. Also, mm -hmm. sometimes when we when I've done that read the Bible through in a year, I felt so much pressure. Yeah, exactly. I had pressure. Mm -hmm. And I thought and it was all of this self imposed pressure for nothing. Mm -hmm. He don't want to put pressure on you at all. He just wants you to know him and, and get the mm -hmm. word in your heart. Uh -huh. So break it down one verse mm -hmm. at a time if you have to that right person. it's it's quality mm -hmm. not quantity come on that's it and i've been speaking to my um, son about that yes yeah. uh you know if i was telling him that i i was on psalm 71 for weeks mm -hmm. and weeks yeah yeah i couldn't move away from that mm -hmm. and pastor has taught us at church that when you read the word, if there's something you don't understand, you pray. Yeah. And yeah. ask the Lord to enlighten you to what that word means. Exactly. So um, just remember that it's quality. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't necessarily mean quantity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And also, uh, one another suggestion would be, as you're, like April and Ron are saying, as you're dissecting mm -hmm. an area of scripture, maybe, you know, have a notepad, have exactly. something near you, mm -hmm. and as you're reading it, you know, and these thoughts are coming or understanding coming, jot those notes down. You know, jot them down, that that thought that came to you as you were mm -hmm. reading or mm -hmm. that question that came to you. Yeah. Jot them down because as you write those notes down, it helps you to 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 get that in you, mm -hmm. in your spirit. Yeah. And and maybe even it might help you to go deeper, you exactly. know, to go to someone else maybe or, or go to a commentary, look, look into a, a study book and and dig deeper and, and get you know a better understanding of that scripture so it's so important so mm -hmm. we encourage you no matter don't like like they're saying don't necessarily worry oh i gotta read 10 chapters yeah, today out yeah. of exodus you know and, and, and right now <laughs> well, it is. yeah no, i mean right now we're supposed if you're doing the daily bible reading i think we're supposed to be in leviticus already if you're going through the year but um you know don't don't put that pressure on yourself just mm -hmm. just try to and you may, if you're a new believer, of course, you know, you may want to start in the New Testament and start in, in John, maybe, or, mm -hmm. you know, one of the Gospels, Matthew, Luke, Mark, Luke, and John, and, and read through those. And like, and like they're saying, you, you get to a scripture and you're like, you know, it jumps out at you. Just take some time there. Yeah. Study it out and let it speak to you. Amen. The scripture doesn't say to read through the Word of God. It says to study just to show study. yourself approved. Right. Yeah, very good. Right. Study to show yourself approved. Amen. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about you, but I don't want to be ashamed this year. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, right. I don't want to be ashamed this year. When it comes to the end of the year, if the Lord tarries, and we're all still here doing our power yeah. in December, yeah. I don't want to be ashamed. Amen. Amen. I, I want to have been in the Word and studying the Word, as Sister Emily just said. And so that's the first and foremost way to hear from God. Amen. Another way we hear from God <clears throat> is through other believers. And in Ephesians chapter 4, that chapter, if, uh, if you look at that chapter... It talks about the different gifts and callings that are upon people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the, the gifts of prophecy and, yeah. and the gifts of pastors. And, yeah. and there's all these different gifts and callings upon people. And, and when we study that out, if you read Ephesians chapter 4, which I'm not going to read the whole chapter. If somebody wants to turn to it and turn to verse 13 for me, we, we will read a couple of them. But it's talking about the different callings and giftings upon people. And it, it expresses in that chapter that those callings and giftings are for the equipping mm -hmm. and the edifying of the body. Yes. So that tells me that we are here, all of us are here as part of the body of Christ. And God gives us different gifts and callings wow. upon our lives. And the reason they're there is for me and you to be able to... to equip each other yes yes Amen. so in other words that means there might be something you don't have that i can help equip you uh, with exactly might be something you don't understand mm -hmm. that i can help edify yes. you with uh -huh. so god's put the body 
and vice versa mm -hmm. for you, you all for me. Right. So God's put this body together for us to be able to, to speak the truth of God yes. into other people's right. lives. Mm -hmm. right. And that's how we can hear from God. We truly, how many of you maybe think back in your own experience about a time that you needed to hear from God and God sent a brother or a sister into your mm -hmm. life and they spoke out exactly what you needed to hear right. at the time. And I, I want to say this. Another reason to be, to find a Bible-believing church mm -hmm. with a pastor that preaches the Word, mm -hmm. I have learned so much sitting under uh, our current pastor and, uh, and other pastors before that, but especially our current pastor, I have learned so much from hearing him preach the word. Yes. So mm -hmm. uh, I can help April or mm -hmm. Dana or Emily or Charles, but every week I know that when I go to the house of God, I know that pastor's going to bring a word that's going to uh, enlighten me yes. somehow. And you, and you may think, well, why don't you enlighten yourself? I try, mm -hmm. but there are... It's, it, <clears throat> That's another reason to go to the house of God. That's right. the point I'm yes. making right. is your mm -hmm. pastor or whoever he believes and has faith enough in to put in the pulpit can help you mm -hmm. to understand scriptures that you might not know. And, and it's amazing that we can hear a, uh, somebody speak on a, a passage of scripture and you get something out of it that time, but the next time you hear it, you'll get something else. It's living. It, yeah, it's it, living. It, the word lives, <laughs> and it opens itself to you. So I just wanted to encourage you to find a good church yes. and a good pastor that preaches the word, mm -hmm. and that will help you uh, on your journey. Yes. Amen. In Amen. scripture, and I hope I didn't. And see and that's it. and there <laughs> and that no and that's. That's the God uses pastors. Yes. I mean, they seek God yes. through the week for the word yes. that the that the people need to hear. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when pastor gives the word out, you may hear something totally different exactly. than you do. Exactly. Because the Holy Spirit may adjust the message, so to speak, yes. for your ears and for your heart and for what you need mm -hmm. to hear. And you know, that's just the way God God uses people in our lives. Mm -hmm. I know in my life there's different times that I've needed to hear from God and God has used someone else in my life. Yes. They came and, and they just spoke that word that mm -hmm. I needed to hear right then right. For, for my life. So and wait, so did somebody have that 13 we'll and that. 14? Uh, it's about, and he gave some apostles, is that it? Uh, Ephesians 4, 13 and 14 it should be, yeah. Till we all come into the unity. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thirty-four. Till we all come into the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, and to a perfect man, and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro mm -hmm. and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, yeah. whereby they lie in wait to deceive. So see that purpose there. That purpose of that. The body, the unity for what? To help instruct one another, to help to help what we talked about, that edifying and equipping mm -hmm. one another. So I really believe that we hear from God through other believers. Amen. And that word perfect there in verse 13, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I don't know in this particular scripture, April may know, but in most places in scripture, that word perfect means complete. Exactly. It means complete. So yeah, don't get hung mm -hmm. up on trying to be perfect mm -hmm. in your own sight. Mm -hmm. You know, that word perfect means that you're complete. Yes. So I just, yeah. I just want to bring that out. So believers, mm -hmm. so embrace, so surround yourself, in other words, with, with believers that you can trust to speak into your yeah. life. Yeah. Mm. And I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. No, it's good. I, I needed help. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, we we do have to be we do have to be careful who we let speak into yeah. our yes. service. Yes. Right. yes, it's mm. very careful. And and it's just another bringing it back home to the word. We just have to be rooted in the word. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes it says that you know if somebody speaks into our life, it'll bear witness. Right. Our spirit will yes. connect with that word. I had um, things that you know in my when I started growing in the Lord and just really I, can I just say I was really getting serious with the mm -hmm. Lord and, and really just seeking after Him. 
I was praying for the will of God in my life, and, and I was just praying all of these things, and um, and I, I, you know, he was just leading me on through those things. But there was a time uh, that that the Lord used someone so uniquely to speak into my life, and it was as if, and that nobody was in the room when I was praying those prayers. <laughs> so it was just me and God. But that person, the Lord used them and spoke word for word those things wow. that I had prayed in secret. And it was all about the will of God for my life. Praise and it brought great confirmation mm -hmm. into right. my life. Right. Yes. So uh, I would just say, take heed, mm -hmm. but you'll know, but you'll know that you'll have that, that peace and that, ooh, it'll, mm -hmm. that word will just come alive in yes. you. But mm -hmm. you need to, to have, it's so important to have these people mm -hmm. in your life that, that you right. trust and are the real deal mm -hmm. <laughs> and let them speak into yes. your life. There's so much wisdom that you can gain mm -hmm. from people that are, that are on a little head in the journey than you are. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, and use, and as April says, use caution, be careful, because there's wolves in sheep's yes. clothes. Yeah. The Bible Amen. tells us about that. Exactly. There's people exactly. that their intentions are not necessarily good. Mm -hmm. And so you have to you have to try those spirits. Yes. And the Lord help you to do that and to be to, to have confidence yes. in that person. Yes. Amen. So the next thing I wanted to share about we we can hear from God through actually hearing his voice. Yes. <laughs> you know, some people say, well, you know, that seems far fetched. You mean you think God can really actually speak to us? Yes, he can. That his voice, we can hear his voice? Yes. Well, God's done it before, and He can do it in our life. He chooses yes. to do it. So yes. in Exodus 3 and 4, with Moses, it says, God called to him, God called to him mm -hmm. from the midst of the bush and said, uh -huh. yeah. and then he proceeded, God proceeded to give him instructions. Exactly. I've heard the cries of the Israelites, and you're to go. And you're yes. to go before Pharaoh and to, to, to deliver the Israelites. And so God spoke to Moses. And there's different illustrations throughout the word mm -hmm. where God spoke or, yes. or an angel spoke mm -hmm. to people. Yes. So we know that that happens. And also in 1 Kings, it talks about that God was in what? The still, small mm -hmm. voice. It says he wasn't in the fire and he wasn't in the right. earthquake. Right. But in 19 verse 12, it says he was in the still, small voice. Yes. So right. we know that God speaks into our lives. Now, if you haven't heard him audibly, that's fine, but don't rule that out because God truly Amen. could speak to you audibly Amen. if he chose to. But that being said, that God speaks to us in our spirit. And you may not have heard his voice like you hear my voice right now, but you've heard his voice in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Where you where 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 you hear that voice of the Lord speaking to you. And, and you know that that's God. Yes. That God is yes. speaking that into your yes. life. And so just be sensitive to the voice of the Lord. Be sensitive. So he said, what? My sheep know my voice. Know my voice. Right. You know, be sensitive to his voice. Because you could be sitting somewhere in your car and all of a sudden you hear the voice of the Lord mm -hmm. in your spirit. It might, the voice of the Lord could come in your spirit telling oh, you yeah. to, to uh, I've, I've shared a um, an awesome story about this man that had just got saved and he wanted to hear from God and he all of a sudden he kept getting these impressions go to the store and get milk yeah yeah and he, he didn't understand it go down this street he didn't understand it but he listened to that voice and God was using him to bring milk to a family that had no milk for their baby mm -hmm. he didn't know the family didn't know the street didn't know the address but God kept impressing him these impressions, and right. he followed right. them, that the Spirit talking to him. And God has impressed you probably, like me, before about something, that you need to go speak to that person. Yes. Yes. You need to go call that person. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to, to do this or to do that. He impresses us in our spirit. So we, we, we can hear from God through his voice. Yes. And it's so precious to be able to for God to be able to speak into our life that way. Amen. You know, it's, you know how married couples, when they're married long enough, they kind of know what the other <laughs> one's, you know, they, it's like they know what the other one's thinking. They know what they're getting ready to say. I know what you're getting ready to say. Yeah. You know, I know what, you know, and it's, it can be that way with God that you're so close. You're, 
your communion is it's such kind of mind of God. that yes. you you know it's impressed in you what God's mm -hmm. trying to tell yeah, you, yeah. and and we can hear His voice. Yes. And the other thing, uh, one of the other ways we can we can uh, hear from God is through circumstances. And I found a verse in First Corinthians sixteen and nine. It says, for I think it's Paul talking, said, says, for a great and effective door has opened to me. Mm -hmm. Okay? That sounds pretty cool. Mm -hmm. He said, a great and effective door has opened to me. And then Revelations 3 and 8, I like this verse. It says, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open yeah. door, and no one can shut it. Yes. For you have a little strength. And you and, and you know you have kept my word and have not denied my name. So what was that scripture? That's Revelations three and eight. Mm -hmm. He says, "I've set before you an open door, and mm -hmm. no one can shut it." God will work different times in the circumstances of our life. Yes. What's going on in our life? Yeah. And and it's through those circumstances that He will intervene in our life, and that He will uh, we will hear. Will hear his voice, so to speak, or hear hear from God through the circumstances. Yes, you know, all of a sudden this door opens up to us. We've been praying, we've mm -hmm. been asking God to guide us, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, mm -hmm. here's this door open mm -hmm. up. Right. You know, I've seen it in my life, and I'm sure you've seen it in yes. yours. Where yes. all of a sudden, here it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Definitely. circumstances that happen. Maybe doors shut. A door will shut. Absolutely right. And that's another way that God can say, no, mm -hmm. exactly. you know, this is not the direction I want you to go. This is not mm -hmm. where I want you to go. Or it could be things in our life that happen with our circumstances with jobs, mm -hmm. circumstances with our family, you know, circumstances with finances. Right. It could be, God could use all different ways to give us direction for us to hear right. from him. Right. right. You know, Absolutely. Amen. so, so listen to the. Take note, I guess is what I'm saying, of the circumstances that are going on in your life. You know, um, if I can express what I'm trying to say, like we're in a phase in our life right now that, uh, you know, we have a, a new grandson, and so my husband and I are helping take care of him so my daughter won't have to, you know, pay for child care. And, of course, we want to take care of him rather than have him, in child care and uh, we also have an 88 year old mother-in-law living with us so we're also taking care of her well I would say right now you know I seek God I pray for God's direction and for his guidance but my circumstances right now speak loudly to me mm -hmm. yeah that this is not a time for me to get in my car and decide that I'm going to be a world traveler right. and go all over the United States right. and and uh, you know and even even go even if if our desire, which my husband is, to get in the car and go from town to town and share the gospel with people all over the United States, that's a good vision and dream and and mission, and we may very well do that a few years from now. Yes, but. My circumstances tell me that that's not <coughs> what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Right now. Yeah. Because I have a little grandson to speak into his life and to raise him. We have a mother-in-law to help take care of. So my circumstances, I would say God is speaking to me to be content where you're at right mm -hmm. now and fulfill the mission that you have before you right. of your grandson and your mother-in-law and other, other areas of your life. That's what I'm trying to express. Our circumstance mm -hmm. help us hear from God. Yeah. Help us yeah. hear what he's saying. So another area, and I'm trying to get on, we'll, we'll share these and then I'm going to get to the, the fleece because I know I said I'd share more about that. Another way God speaks in our life is through dreams and visions. And in Acts 2 and 17, it says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy, your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Mm -hmm. Can you all think of a situation in the Bible where there's actually many of them, people forget them all, but where God or an angel spoke to people through dreams? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you start, I, as I was looking through the Word, as I was looking 
uh, searching and studying, there was quite a few. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think of one where the angel comes to Joseph in a dream. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Don't basically don't be afraid to yeah. take Mary. Mm -hmm. You know, this is of the Lord. And there's different situations where God or an angel Jacob. came. Jacob. Jacob. Yes. Mm -hmm. In Acts 9, mm -hmm. Ananias yeah. um, uh, had a vision. And the Lord told him that uh, right. Saul was okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And exactly. He needed to go to him and then... You were talking a while ago about somebody speaking into your life. Well, Ananias, because of the vision yeah. that he was given, that, mm -hmm. that Paul was going to speak to the Gentiles and bring his word to them, mm -hmm. uh, Ananias obeyed the Lord and went to Paul and mm -hmm. told him what he had what he had seen in a vision. Mm -hmm. Right. And when mm -hmm. and when he ministered to him, his eyes, the shackles fell off his eyes and yes. he right. received the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so that's an example of, of not only somebody having a vision, but then having the courage to go Speak ahead and, and yes. take that. Right, and be, be a believer and speaking speak into in. another believer's life. Exactly. Look at the impact that had mm -hmm. oh on that one man's life, and then look at the impact God used for that one man. Yes. Mm -hmm. It changed the world. Yes. <laughs> it's an Ananias, awesome I, can't, I can't help but look at, at Ananias because who was he? That he was chosen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to carry this message to such an important person yeah. who became such an important person to yes. all of us. Um, we have to be willing and ready when God speaks to us and encourages us to, to speak into another person's life. Yes. Mm -hmm. To pray right. for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have to have the courage like Ananias did. Amen. 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 Have the, have the, uh, the willingness uh -huh. and the courage, like you're saying, mm -hmm. the courage. Because sometimes it's not easy, you know, but we have to have the courage to... Mm -hmm. To take that step and be bold and speak that into. Well, so there again, your spirit bears witness. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if your spirit's uh, agree in agreement with it, then you know that it's something you need to do. Yes. So we need to be assured, all of us, that God could speak to us through dreams mm -hmm. and through visions. Exactly. And don't don't close those things off in our lives, especially we're in the last days. Amen. Uh, I've I've heard testimonies and stories where God is coming to people, you know, to the Muslim people. Exactly. And, I mean, these mm -hmm. are true stories where he's coming to them in their dreams. Jesus, somebody that they don't even, have not been taught as the Savior. And, and Jesus is coming yeah. to them in their dreams. Yes. We, we experienced that in Uganda yes, where a Muslim heard the word and it came to him during the night, a song. Mm -hmm. about Jesus. Right. And he mm -hmm. got up the next morning singing that song mm -hmm. yes. that Jesus gave him during the night. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. powerful. Yeah. That's not hearsay. And I don't know about you. I mean, I mean that's the truth. Yes, yeah, it's happening true. all it's yes. happening all across yes. the world. Yeah. It's, and and ooh. you know, I don't know about you, but that's what I pray. Up. If you have an unsaved sure. love loved one. <laughs> I would encourage you, if you have an unsaved loved one, somebody you've been praying yeah, for, a brother, a sister, a yes. son, or daughter, or mom, or dad, start praying yes. for God to come into their dreams, yes. for God to speak to them. Amen. Because when they're when you're in a dream state, God can get your attention. Yes. Yeah. You know, when you're when you're uh when you're running away from the Lord, you can find you can find ways to busy yourself mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm with your work, with your entertainment, with everything going oh, yeah. on, with even even with escapes through substance abuse and different things. Right. And you can busy yourself so much that you close out the voice of the Lord yeah. trying to speak into your life. You close out the voices of other people trying mm -hmm. to speak in your life. Right. You you just close it out because you're in this state of of avoidance, mm -hmm. in this yeah, state of escape. But when you lay your head down at <laughs> night to sleep, your subconscious is there, and, and the Lord can speak into their lives. Yes. So pray that way for your unsaved loved ones. Pray that God will speak to them in dreams yes. and in visions. Yes. Acts 10 is also a good example of Cornelius, uh -huh. yes. the angel of the Lord, coming to um, Cornelius in a dream. 
And right. at the same time, probably Peter was being spoken to about the three men that would mm -hmm. come to him. <laughs> yeah. And and this was all about what you're talking about. This was all about, um, you know, to the Hebrew children, uh, things that were not kosher, it was not acceptable for mm -hmm. them to eat. It was a sin. Yeah. But now Jesus, God was, was conveying to him, don't call unclean what I call clean but it had mm -hmm. a deeper meaning of the right Gentiles of the Gentiles exactly in. being this is huge because yeah. it's like yeah. Uh, yeah. nations you know being yes exactly. delivered in turn yes so so I'm excited about that I'm excited that God can speak to us through dreams yes. and through visions yes. yes and and we need to open our heart up to that more mm -hmm. you know Allow the Lord to speak to us through dreams and yeah. through visions. That we could have a vision. We could be somewhere and God just gives us this vision before our eyes and we see it. So so don't limit God. Amen. He's still working. And the last one I want to talk about is signs and wonders. And we're going to get into the fleece here. But in Mark 16, 20, I like that verse. It says, and they went out and preached everywhere. And the Lord worked with them, confirming the word through accompanying signs. And in different places in the Bible, there were signs given where the Lord gave signs to mm -hmm. people yes. uh, of, his, of his will, of his direction, of his guidance. And I'm going to share the one that I shared uh, last week about the fleece, so just so that we have a better understanding of it. And I just made me some notes so I can, can just summarize quickly. Because we, my husband and I did that fleece that I told you about. And this is what this, the, the idea of a fleece is based on. There's a man in the Bible called Gideon. And that's, it's in Judges uh, that this came from. And I'll give you the key verse in just a moment if you want to look it up. But if you'll, go, um, if you'll go to Judges when you're studying this in chapter 6, okay? And you can go through and read this. And I'm going to summarize it, okay? The Israelites were delivered into this other other uh, the Midianites had taken over them because they had disobeyed God and God allowed the Midianites to take them over. And so our, the people of Israel were hiding out. They were having to hide like in dens and caves and mountains because what would happen is these Midianites would come and just destroy their right. stuff, destroy their produce that they had farmed. Mm -hmm. They would take their oxen and cattle or, or destroy them. Yeah. And so the Israelite people cried out to the Lord because of this. And after they cried out to the Lord, this angel appeared and came to this area where Joash lived. And Joash had a son named Gideon. And Gideon was hiding out in this wine press, mm -hmm. threshing his wheat because he had, they had to hide or the Midianites would come and just take everything, mm -hmm. destroy it. So this man, uh, man's son Gideon is hiding. And he's hiding there and this angel says to him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Amen. And he's like, what? <laughs> and he's basically like, why is all this happening? Where are the miracles? You know, hear God speaking to him, the Lord's with you, you mighty man. And he's like, why is all this happening? Why are we being attacked? Why, why, where are the miracles? And, uh, and, and the angel proceeded to say, God, uh, you go, he proceeded to say, Go, you shall save, like save the people of Israel. Have I not sent you? Is what the angel says on behalf of God. Mm -hmm. right. And he's like, uh, Gideon's like, How can I go and save the whole exactly. nation of Israel? Mm -hmm. He proceeded to say, I am from the weakest clan yeah. here. I'm from the weakest of the clans. You know, they had these different clans. Ours is the weakest. And then he proceeded to say that I'm the least of our clan. Mm -hmm. So in other words, he's saying I'm the weakest link here that yeah. you're talking to. I am the weakest link. You pick the weakest clan and you pick the weakest person here to come to and say, oh, mighty man of valor. And he's, so he's given this argument to the angel. And the angel says, surely, on behalf of God, surely I will be with you. And you shall defeat as one man. I love the way that's expressed. You shall defeat them as one man. Okay, Gideon's got this message. Yeah. <laughs> now what is he going to do with it? Uh -huh. He says, okay, God. He's basically saying to the Lord, 
please show me a sign. So he puts an offering on the rock, and God gives him a sign. Fire comes out of the rock. Exactly. That's the first sign. <laughs> Just fire comes up and devours. Okay. So then God tells him to go tear down the altars of Baal. And he does that. He does what the Lord tells him to do. And so in Judges 6 and 36, that's where I want to get to. And that's where the key is here. He begins to go to God then. And he says, if you will save Israel by my hand, show me this way. He takes a fleece of wool. Okay, and that's where the word fleece comes mm -hmm. in. He takes some wool from a sheep, the fleece. He takes that wool and he puts it on the floor of the of the threshing house where he was for the week. And he says, if you are going to say by my hand in the morning, let the dew, you know, the wet dew from the from the the moisture be on the fleece, but let the ground all around it be dry. Yeah. Sure enough, he gets up the next morning and squeezes out the fleece with the water, but the ground is all dry. Mm -hmm. Then he says, Lord, let me test you again, yeah. basically. Don't be, you know, don't want the Lord to be upset with him, but this time let the fleece be dry and let all the ground around it be wet. Yeah. And sure enough, the next day, again, it's it's that way. And those were impossible things to happen, okay? Right. We got to realize that. That was impossible. Right. Okay, if, if you have moisture in the air, you're not going to have the, the wool be wet and the ground right around it be dry. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to have the opposite either. Right. It was, an, it was an impossible request, but yet God is the God of impossible. Yes, and he did it. Yes. And that's what I want to get at about the fleece. So, therefore, the story goes on and Gideon proceeds to take an army of 300 and defeats and wipes out mm -hmm. the Midianites, just like God said mm -hmm. he would. But that's what the fleece is about. And there's times in our life when we need to want to get clear direction from the Lord. We really need to hear from God to, to know confirmation. Uh -huh about something that's very important to mm -hmm. us and we need confirmation yes and I, I i told you we did this with my uh, loved one and the thing that my husband asked the computer he asked god to have the computer do which my husband is a computer whiz and he knew the computer is impossible for the computer to do that the program won't do it but the program did it three times in a row so we knew that that was god making that happen mm -hmm. and when he did our loved one was prepared for us to come mm -hmm. and instead of the it straining our relationship dissolving our relationship it all worked out mm -hmm. they began to cry they began to weep they knew what we said was the truth mm -hmm. and they received it so you may have a situation in your life where you need confirmation you maybe it's a it's a it's a very important decision that you need to make maybe it's a very important um situation with a loved one like we had and you you need to get that confirmation that's where the fleece comes in and you don't have to use wool because someone asked me well what 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 can you use for the fleece you however you can pray about it and god can lead you <coughs> to something like my husband like i said he's a computer whiz so he picks something with a computer that a computer can't do Shouldn't do, mm -hmm. but it did. It. Yeah. So you, God may lead you in another direction of something to do. It doesn't have to be the wool and the dew. It could be something totally different. But the key is, to me, the key on the fleece that you need to realize is it's not like a fortune cookie. No, no, no. I, I wanted to try to say that because right. when you these people go and get their fortune cookies, they open it up. You're going to meet somebody new today. Well, guess what? It's very likely that you're going to go out and meet somebody new today. Yeah. You know, we live in a world that you're going to meet somebody that's new. This, if you're going to do a fleece, I would recommend that you do something like, like Gideon did. You pick something that's an impossibility. In your mind, it's an impossibility mm -hmm. for it to happen. It would be God for it to happen. Mm -hmm. Just like that, that fleece with him. Mm -hmm. And, and, that way you, you are receiving the confirmation from God, a sure and steadfast confirmation 
that thus saith the Lord. This is what I'm saying to yeah. you. This is the direction I'm leading you and what to do. And so uh, I wanted to clarify that. It's, it, it can be different things. You know, I, I don't want to, God can lead you in what you would make the fleece to be. Yes. But it's not necessarily wool and do is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. With us, it was the computer. It might be, um, it might be a phone call mm -hmm. that you know is an impossibility really to, to receive. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be a multitudes of things mm -hmm. that it could be that God could lead you to do the fleece on. And we call it fleece because just of this. Because of this yeah, instance. Just because in of word. this, exactly. But basically, it's asking God for, for a sign, confirmation, a confirmation, confirmation. Or, you know, a sign. Mm. But I guess. I guess we the people nicknamed it fleece just because somewhere, of this. Yeah, somewhere yeah. along the lines, people just started uh -huh. calling, I'm going to mm -hmm. put out a fleece, fleece. because of yeah. what Gideon did mm -hmm. with the fleece. But but it's basically really, <coughs> it's a confirmation. Mm -hmm. God giving you a confirmation. And yeah. I had some people asking about this, so I wanted to clarify. And, and you know, pray about it. Ask God, God, would you have me to put, put up a fleece mm -hmm. about this? Yeah. And if God leads you, ask him, you know, give, give you direction of what to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he can guide you what to do. But I know for us, in that situation, it worked. Right. It, was, it was God. You know, and it, it confirmed to us that this is what God wanted us to do. But it also brought such confirmation when it all worked out. Yeah. You know. And we're praying about doing doing another one uh, fleece that we need to do, but it, and it, it will be something different. But but we are praying and God will guide us. Mm -hmm. Even the timing, God will guide us when we need to do it. And I would suggest you fast, fast, too over the fleece, fast over it and and pray and and put out that fleece and God trust God. This is really really simple, but. I've been in a church service before or in any other kind of setting and felt I had a thought that I thought would be beneficial to others mm -hmm. for me to speak out. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be in the will of God right. to do it. And I would I put a quick fleece out, Lord, if it's your will for me to say this, mm -hmm. uh, like, like if we're at the end of a service, I would, I would say, let pastor say, does anybody have anything else to say? Yeah. Or, yeah. or call, or even call my name. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted right. to be sure that it would be beneficial. Right. Uh, and so, if the if pastor didn't say that, I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just right. really simple. But yeah, but but it's, uh, the, it's the idea mm -hmm. that you're seeking for confirmation. Yes, confirmation. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And it's not too much to say, you know, Father God. I'm going to need you to confirm this. Yeah, exactly. You know? And and if you want me to do that, I, I would appreciate mm -hmm. it if you would. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, we, we say it so many times, but this, this, uh, this walk with the Lord, it's a journey and it's a process. Mm -hmm. And, and I just really know that we can get to a point in spiritual maturity with, with the Lord and to a place where we have this communion you know, I, I remember sometimes in, in my immaturity needing constant, constant, constant. And God is so gracious, just mm -hmm. like Gideon, mm -hmm. over and over and over yeah. and over and over. Exactly. He yeah. was so gracious to help us. Yes. Don't you know that if anybody wants us to do its, his will, it's God. Yes. And don't you know he's going to do everything in his power mm -hmm. to help us do that. Yes. But I think about, you know, scriptures too in the in you know about when jesus was there about thomas you know he doubted mm -hmm. and he said right. unless i touch him unless i mm -hmm. see it with my own eye i mm -hmm. won't believe and you know jesus in his mercy oh, he yeah. said okay thomas touch, mm -hmm. how about this mm -hmm. <laughs> and he said though you believe because you've seen but blessed mm -hmm. are those right. that believe without sin mm -hmm. so i think you know like like just like dana said it's not something that is the constant right. thing you have to do all the time exactly. really jesus wants us to just trust him and it in the bible says my sheep know my voice mm -hmm. and we can get to this place where we're growing mm -hmm. and maturing where we know <laughs> God don't have to keep it on mm -hmm. and on and on. We mm -hmm. know we have this deep settled yeah. right. knowing that 
So it's everything is a journey. It's mm -hmm. a process, and he's keep he keeps on working on me, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we I don't have it all figured out yet. But it's just this journey. Mm -hmm. But it, like they said, if you're in a position where you just so want to do the will of God mm -hmm. in your life, He'll help you. Yes, he he'll will. help you. That's Amen. the whole point of it. He will help you and give you that confidence you need to do it. Right. And and with Gideon, he was about to go into battle, mm -hmm. and it you know he needed to know the will of God. Yeah. For that battle to, to be successful, mm -hmm. and then then the Lord whittled down His army. I know it. You know it, it was, yeah. he was God. Proved himself without a doubt to Gideon. And I honestly, yeah. and I've read this this story different times. I honestly kind of thought, well, you know, that was kind of Gideon. That was kind of lacking some faith there. You know what I mean? To have to, you know, okay, God, do this. Okay, God, do that. And, and I, you know, I kind of kind of thought that way. But yet, I've had a kind of a revelation a little bit about it because I told you last week when you go to the wall of faith. Uh, Hebrews 11 and 32, who does it mention? Uh -huh. It mentions Gideon. Yeah. Yeah. It says, tell of Gideon. And it says, it says in that thing, uh, became valiant in battle and turned to flight the armies of the aliens. <laughs> the, the, that was listed on that list, yeah. and it mentions Gideon. Yeah. He so, had faith. Yeah. yeah. And he put out the fleece that mm -hmm. God was going to answer Mm -hmm. And he had faith to, to listen to the word of the Lord and to go forth exactly. in battle. So, you know, I kind of got a different perspective because there's times that I've kind of thought, oh, you know, kind of, you know. But, I, but, but, you know, when I found him in that, that list of faith, mm -hmm. you know, God, God put him in there. So, you know, so, so I, I'm like, like April said, this is not something I, I encourage people, you know, every, every day I'll put out another fleece <laughs> yeah. and, you know, but there's. Sometimes there's urgent things in your life exactly. yeah. that come and you really want to know mm -hmm. that you've heard the voice yes. of the Lord. Yes. Well, you wouldn't say it because that's the kind of person you are. But like Gideon, you and Edward do things. Mm -hmm. You do things in the kingdom of God. Yes. It, this is not something that you do when you're, oh, should I pay my tithes? <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah. I mean, you want me to go to church today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If my dress jumps out of the closet and weighs on the bed by itself, yeah. I'll go. No, this is not something that, right. uh, and, and it's not to be taken lightly. You and Edward and, and the people sitting at that table, every one of you do things in ministry for the kingdom of God and multiples of people are helped by what you do and it's not unreasonable to think that you might need to know for a surety what you need to do about a thing here mm -hmm. and there situation and right. anybody any child of god that that is trying to do something for god needs that confirmation mm -hmm. of something sometimes, something yeah. and it's ur something yeah, urgent. urgent yeah and that's and sometimes that's god will ask you to just do it Yes. <laughs> Step out. Yeah. yeah that's true. But, but that's when you need to know the voice of God. Mm -hmm. You know. And yeah. as we've talked about tonight, there's so many ways we can hear mm -hmm. the word of the Lord. Amen. So many ways exactly. that God can speak oh, to yeah. us. And the fleece is just one of those, but mm -hmm. that that we we brought up and that, you know, God might lead you to do in an urgent situation. Honestly, both times for us, you know, this time you can come back, it's an urgent situation. Mm -hmm. It's not we're not talking like I mean, you know, like Emily, that's good that she said that. It's not like, you know, I'm going to put a fleece out. Should I eat tonight or not? Or mm -hmm. should I? You know, I mean, it's an urgent, urgent yeah. urgency, urgent situation. When things are in the balance. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's a good way to things say Things are, yeah. are in the balance. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's what we have for tonight. Amen. And yeah. did we want to share about February 28th? <coughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, we want to, this, we're going to go ahead and get, start getting the word out that February 28th, we're planning to have our next Hour of Power Revival at Fort Payne Church of God. We've had, I don't know how many of those now, I've lost track, but it's about four of them, I think. And they've been awesome. I mean, we have about 100 women come out, in, and hope, maybe this time we'll have 200. Mm -hmm. So, Come on, plan, put on your calendar February 28th at 6 p.m. at Fort Payne Church of God. We're still working out the details of, of, of praise and worship teams and such as that. Um, but, but it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great.
Praise you don't want to miss this time, so so put it on your calendar. We'd love to see people from all different yes. churches just yes. gathering together yes. and worshiping with us. And uh, April will be sharing the word. It's going to be powerful, so you don't want to miss that February 28th. Amen. For anybody who has requested prayer in the comments, we will look at this uh, when we close. Yes, we will. And those will be addressed. Absolutely. We'll pray. Amen. Oh, we love you. Yes, we do. <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and pray right now. Yes. Uh, in general, but then we're going to specifically call your name out in prayer, those ones that comment those those requests. So, Jesus, we oh just God. simply thank you for your word, Lord, God. We thank you so for your presence, God. God. That was so real word, tonight, Lord. Lord. Thank, thank you that your word is alive, Lord, Father, and, and it never returns void. Tonight. But it will do and exactly, Lord, God, what you wanted it to do, Father. It will prosper in the thing that you said it out to the I pray, God, right now, God, for everybody. Listening, Lord, that they would get God, to know would you like never before. Lord, that they would study the word, God, consume the word, get it down deep in them, God, let abide, live in the word, God. And we thank you, God, that you're moving and working in such a powerful way. Oh my God, we thank you, Lord God, in advance, God, for the testimonies that are happening, the ones that are sick, we speak healing over them, my God. The ones that are bound, we speak deliverance, God, over every body, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray, God, that the prodigals are coming home. Marriages are being restored. God, the ones that are seeking wisdom and counsel, that you will speak to them like only you can, Father. That your purpose and your plan will go forward, God. And we say, lead us and guide us in every decision we make, God. Refine us, purify us, Lord, that we can be sanctified holy to do your work and to do your will, Father, with signs following after us, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for your power. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, God, for your love and kindness, God, that just concerns us, Lord. We glorify your name, God. Speak to us, Lord. In your name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, we love you so much. And Lord willing, we will see you next week.